Hello folks, this is Movie Metal Rock McDonald here, and I'm going to try to uh, do this video again because I forgot, accidentally forgot to uh, turn up the volume on my phone. Uh, this is my old lot around here. <clears throat> uh, YouTubers, please turn up your volume whenever you're doing a YouTube video. Because I have watched YouTube videos where I had to turn up the volume and... We're, we're, all, we're so loud that people can hear what I'm, what I'm, you know, just turn up your volume, please, and, surprise, and try to speak loudly as possible, but not too loud, but it's not about me ranting about people, I turn the volume up. This is about, um, one of my favorite TV shows, The Inner Reboot, and that is Walker to this Ranger. First of all, you can't do Walker to this Ranger without Chuck Norris. Okay, it wouldn't. It's not. It wouldn't work. Okay. You know, Walker's Ranger. If you think about it, it made Chuck Norris relevant again, and that's why he was so popular. And that's the reason why he made a big. He made a big deal about it, because. Um, for one, I know that Chuck Norris was not making much movies in the '90s, and I think a lot of his movies were not making much money. I don't think I don't think neither one of his nineties movies were um complete flops or anything like that. That just weren't making much money. And the middle, and, and most of them I'm pretty sure like every single movie went straight to D V D because I think I know Hell I think Hellbound was straight to D V D I believe. And I think um Hitman was the Hitman was straight to D V D, I believe. Um you know, Walter's Ranger made uh, Chuck Norris relevant again, okay? And that him doing uh, Total Gym as made him relevant. But it would have made people. It just it was you could say there was um, Chuck Norris's biggest combat. You could say that, and I don't think think a reboot of Chuck Norris. Is not. I don't think it's not needed. It's unnecessary. Like you really don't need it. And it's definitely gonna have some woke SCW issues, like body shaming and <clears throat> Donald Trump is evil and his supporters are evil and all that stupid crap. Um, I know the the older episodes of a lot of the older episodes of um, Walker Chase Ranger back in the day did touch on um. Serious issues like drug use and racism and all that stuff, but it was mainly focused on action. Walker's Just Ranger was first and foremost an action series, and that was, was that was the main focus of the series. It was action first, and everything came secondary. Um, yes, in the later seasons, it did delve in the dabbled in the Christianity. Aspects because Chuck Norris became a born again Christian, I think in the um, early two thousands, I believe. I'm not sure when he became a Christian. A Christian, a lot of it. I mean, even the stuff that was focused on the Christianity aspect, it's it was still focused on action though. And and the show Walker Chase Ranger was fun. The original series was fun. Okay. No, it didn't. No, it didn't matter if it was unrealistic or not. Because it was unrealistic or not, because it was still fun, and I st <clears throat> and I like to get all the seasons on DVD or Blu-ray one day. Uh, you may I'll probably you probably can watch it on Amazon Prime or watch it on Hulu. I don't know. They're still. I don't know if it's streaming. Streaming anywhere. I hadn't looked. But I really enjoyed. Walking, watching Walker to Ranger. Um, I watched. I mainly watched the reruns. <clears throat> on USA and on Hallmark Channel. <clears throat> oh, excuse me folks. But I also remember walking to, watching. Walker to Ranger. From my dad. 
like they out in the country. And um, when I was a teenager, I used, when I was a kid, I used to bully, pretend I was punching and beating up bad guys, like in Walking Dead Ranger. <laughs> <clears throat> but I don't think this reboot is necessary. Um, they casted um this guy named Jared Padalecki. <clears throat> um, only thing I know him from is from Gilmore Girls. <clears throat> because I never seen Supernatural. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Which I don't know much about that show. But <clears throat> and um <clears throat> I hope hopefully um I had no chance at watching this reboot because it's not necessary, you don't need it. <clears throat> Call me closed minded, but I had no interest watching it. I'm like, you can't do this about Chuck Norris. I'm saying this, I'm not repeating myself, but Chuck Norris made Walker Texas Ranger. Walker Texas Ranger was Chuck Norris's biggest comeback, if you think about it. And <clears throat> it'd probably be this woke TV show with a bunch of SJW with a bunch of identity liberal politics shoved down your throat and telling you that Trump, Trump supporters and conservatives are, or in general a bunch of evil <clears throat> racist white big evil racist whiteies they hate black people and they spin out the n-word that's probably be the, probably the, be the main villain of the show <clears throat> show of the, show, the show and no they're not going to have a black or Mexican villains in the show. No, because because having because having non white villains <clears throat> because having non white villains in your T V show movie is racist now because because there's no evil minorities out there. Like really that's just dumb. But that's all I gotta say about this uh Walter Tis Rain reboot please n no it's not needed it's unnecessary and I hope it gets cancelled at one season because it's not necessary <clears throat> okay I know that sounds negative but I hope this show gets cancelled for one season because it's not needed it's not necessary and you know it might be good though but I have no interest watching it and it's not necessary. And that's all I got to say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to ring subscribe. And see you guys later. Bye.